Here, get out YouTube. How you going? I've uh, just removed quite a bit of stuff just to make it easier to do what I was doing, and what that is, I've added in a second string of panels. So I've got east facing side and west facing side, and now. If I can get this to uh, focus, I've got the two inputs coming in. It's the end of the day. It's um, taking me a bit longer than what I thought it was going to take, so that's why it's you know it's getting dark here. So uh, that's the west facing side, and that's the east facing side. And as you can see, it's dropping down quite a bit. So tomorrow will be the big test. I'll just uh, jump up on the roof and show you what I was doing up there. So I haven't um, videoed any of this. Uh, last time you saw this, the, uh, the feet and the rails were up. And um, I've actually had to move all that across. You'll see that uh, that's where the mounting feet used to be, just there. And I've had to move it over quite a lot because these panels are significantly smaller physically. But uh, these are 270 watt panels. I've uh, taken some photos, so I'll uh, put the nameplate of the panels up at the end of the video. but. Uh, same um, wiring system as what I did for the um, the other side over here. So you've got a string of panels there, a string of panels here, and a string of panels here, all wired up in parallel. Um, at the moment, this string and this string are wired up and working. And that's the... Uh, the two breakers, so you got um, the top breaker here is for that string there, and the bottom breaker is for that one there. Um, I need to get another box and another breaker to um, mount up here so that I can uh, have that uh, string of, of panels there fused. And then, um, as I've done on the other side, I'll just run a link into this one here just at the top there and then this will run down into the uh, the inverter um, incidentally this is actually the uh, isolators and or circuit breakers enclosure and the um, main cable that runs to the inverter from my original system years ago so it was pretty good that I actually got to be able to use that um, I probably could have moved the panels over this way just a touch so that this wasn't hanging out as much but I'm sort of up and down here quite a bit and wanted the extra little bit of room here just to bait, make it a bit easier for me to get up and clean the roof and clean the panels and all the rest of it so I can walk up here, walk along the ridge there to clean both sides and on the other side of these panels there's a bigger gap than what there is on that side because the, obviously the panels are smaller so I was able to bring them over a little bit more. But uh, that's pretty much it now. Um, aside from that um, enclosure, I've already got another guard in the shed ready to go. I've got the cabling in that ready to go. Um, I just need that enclosure to mount up here and another circuit breaker and that's the shed basically finished. Um, as you saw at the start, everything that was in the uh, inverter cabinets, um, I've taken a lot of stuff out just to get out of the way and now that I've finished I can go back in there and put everything in one at a time and make it neater and finish it all up. Righto YouTube. I hope you're having a better day than I am. It's, uh, there's been a few sprinkles of rain and stuff while I've been doing this, but on the most part it's been quite cool and dry, so I'm pretty happy about that.
All right. Hope you're all doing well, and I'll catch you later. All right.